end of the line. I always have to picture it. Uh, the kind of the line included 30% private financing to cover a uh, budget gap, essentially. Uh, was it an AFP or a, a hybrid AFP? It's operated by a, by a private operator. Yes, yeah, it's operated by a private operator. You, 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 there are differences, but for argument's sake, you can say it's, it's an AFP type. type and, and that's working well? It would have a sense of what we want. Delivered on schedule? Yes, that's actually the, the, the major accomplishment of the Canada line, that it, it, it was delivered three months ahead of the schedule. That's not a small thing to achieve. And it's a comparable technology to what you're looking at uh, no. in here? No, no? It's, uh, it's comparable to the SRT. It's, uh, it's ICTS technology, not the RT. And that's what the impact of this is the station itself are completely different. The stations in, in the kind of line about 56 meters. Our station box with the LRT is about 130 meters, which means that your construction footprint is longer or you tell it to move, obviously. Um, and just a question. Um, so the LRT is not directly related to the construction issues, but uh, we've or staff have been moving forward with Metrolinks on the assumption that the TTC will be the, the operator of these new lines. Uh, has any thought been given by either side uh, that Metrolinks, in fact, would be the operator, not necessarily the TTC? Yes, but uh, it was decided by the province and the minister that the TTC was the the line. Um, at this point, do you have any assumptions as to whether these lines uh, would, on an operating basis, pay for themselves, or would they require subsidy? Uh, we haven't done the analysis, but I can almost certain that it's going to require subsidies. Thank you.